benefit of excellent customer service. Are we ready for it? Number one, good customer service is very important as you have been told. Why? God rewards good services. Or let's say good service. God rewards good service. Your business should be a platform to serve God. Let it be known to you. A platform to do what? To serve God. You are serving God by serving the people excellently. God doesn't reward just any service. God rewards, number one, those who are serving him diligently and excellently. God does not just reward any service, but he rewards good service, diligent service, excellent service. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, the Bible says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Anyone that comes to him must believe that he is and is a rewarder or them that diligently seek or serve him. When you are serving God excellently, when you are serving God in, you know, diligently, he has a reward system that will actually pay you a visit. When you do work in your places of work, whether you are a business owner or you are just working there as an employee, always remember this. Number one boss you must remember you have is God. Your boss may not appreciate what you are doing, but do it as unto the law. As long as God appreciates what you are doing, you are settled for life. That's the reason why people that pay, play office politics, trying to look good in the presence of the people who can prom promote them, sabotaging the effort of other people, that is the reason why they don't fear well. Their success can be short-lived. But if God happens to be the one to promote you, nobody can demote you. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 14, it says, whatever God does is forever. If God is your lifter, if God is your promoter, no devil can demote you. Can I hear your amen? amen? Seek to please God. And how do you seek to please God? By doing your job excellently. By doing your job diligently, we can, if we have firm believers as our bosses, we can make them to know God with the way we serve, with the way we discharge our duty. You need to be different from the people of the world. Don't just enter into that business where if they pay me, you know, you know as, as long as I'm receiving my pay, I can just do my job anyhow. No, you don't do your job anyhow. Even if you are doing your job just anyhow and you are being paid for it and your boss does not recognize that, I tell you something, most of the time you don't know what you spend that money on. Many people are working. They are making good money. But they can't look back and say, okay, with all the salary they are making, this is what they have done with it. Because they are just cheating their employees or their employers rather. And perhaps their customer. God promises to reward you if you do your job excellently. If you are a good worker, God will bless you. Can I hear your amen? amen. Come with me to the book of Ephesians, chapter 6. The book of Ephesians, chapter 6. Look at what the Bible has to say. Verse 6. 
7 and 8, and then we read Colossians chapter 3, verse 23, 24. Here what the Bible says, Colos I mean, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 7, it said, with good will doing service as to the law and not to men. Everybody say with good will. Then in verse 8, he now said, knowing that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same from the Lord, whether he is a slave or a free man. Whatever good any man does, he will receive the reward from the Lord. Now, we don't have slaves any longer. In the day when Apostle Paul, by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, was writing this Bible, you understand, they have a lot of slaves and, you know, the free people. So, we can say, in the presence of, or in the life of the employees and the employers. Let's read it like this, verse 8. Knowing that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same from the Lord, whether he's an employee or an employer. Whether it's an employee or an employer. So all of us are commanded to do good. Everybody say to do good. To do our service good. Whatever you want people to do to you, do it to them. If you don't want them to cheat you out of what you are doing or what you want to buy or the services you are expected even to be rendered at, come and do the same thing to them. Colossians chapter 3. Look at what the Bible says. In the mouth of two or three witnesses, the truth shall be established. Colossians chapter 3. Look at verse 23. He said, and whatever you do, do it heartily. Whatever you do, do it heartily. As to the law and not to men. Knowing that from the law, you will receive the reward of the inheritance. From the law, you receive of the reward of the inheritance for you serve the Lord Christ. Somebody say, I'm a servant of Christ. But he who does but he who does wrong will be repaid for what he has done, and there is no war partiality. You can't rob God and go scot free. If you think that you are robbing your employers, you are just deceiving yourself. If you think that you are robbing your employees, you are just deceiving yourself. Because everything we are doing, God is in everything. And he is the only one who is capable of rewarding you. I pray for you, you will be highly rewarded. Amen. Number two, what is number two benefit? You will be able to retain and grow your customer. Another benefit of customers are good customer service you will be able to retain and grow your customer, your customer base. It takes months, somebody say it, it takes months to make a customer, but it takes a few seconds to lose a customer. Yes or no? For somebody to say, I have decided to be doing business with you, you have to serve them for some time. It takes months months not just only one month it can be months even some people here to make a single customer it takes months to make a single customer and it doesn't take time it does not take a day to lose them simple simple mistakes let's say if you have been cheating them and you think that you are smart and they are not smart the day they are going to know first the day they are going to know that will be the end of them patronizing them. I've always told people, one of the foremost scriptures I fear so much in the Bible happens to be in Matthew chapter 10 verse 26. I use that scripture to check myself from time to time. Whether I'm in the public or whether I'm in the secret place or in the public place. Can I say what that scripture says? There is nothing hidden that God is not going to bring up on. There is nothing covered that will not be uncovered. So if you are sinning, it's only a matter of time. It will be exposed. And do you know? Now, when you see somebody that's, oh, he committed sin and everybody knows about it now. 
God is a good God. He doesn't expose the nakedness of any of his children just anyhow. It will be after a series of warning. After a series of warning. You know, my grandmother used to make a proverb in those days. They would say, my son, don't kill me. My son, don't kill me. If the son does not make a U-turn, it will be, son, don't kill yourself. How many of you understand that language? Okay, now, you have been warning your son. What you are doing is wrong, oh. Don't do it, oh. Don't do it, oh. Mommy, don't worry. Mommy, don't worry. A time will come. The mother will be tired. Son, I've done my home. Don't kill yourself. If God has been telling you, stop doing this thing. This business you are doing, you are cheating government, you are cheating your customer, you are cheating everybody. You say it doesn't matter. Grace cover it. Grace doesn't cover iniquity. A time will come, God will just move back. My son, don't expose yourself. My son, consider my integrity. I'm your father. What will people say? You as a Christian, you as a pastor, you as a choir member, as a nurse, as a worker in the church, what would they do? My son, you better, you know, buckle up. No, it doesn't matter. Nobody will see me. Nobody will see me. As time goes on, when God removes his head over you, it will be exposed. You will not be exposed. When you serve people well, they will patronize you again and again. Am I right? And the plan of God for you is that whatever you are doing, God wants you to prosper in it. It's a new level for every one of us. New level of prosperity. New levels of favor. If you believe, say amen. amen. New level in our business attainment. It's the will of God. It's the will of God. That's the reason why the Bible says the path of the justice as a shining light that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. If you are like this, this year, God wants you to expand. God wants you to expand. God wants you to expand. After this pandemic, you are going to see amazing results. What you have lost in the past, that shall be restoration. Please understand that. Keep doing good job. Keep giving good customer service. Work as if your life depends on it. Work while you work the same. And play while you play to be useful and happy. That's the way. If you are working, work. Let everybody know that this one is a performer. Can your boss trust you? Can your customer trust you? Even can your employee trust you? You have to ask yourself that particular question. Whatever any one of us is doing, we are doing it unto the Lord. Whether an employee or an employer. Number three, because of time. Number three, you will be, you will have effective and cheap publicity. Another benefit of good customer service, you will have effective and cheap publicity. Word of mouth will convince people more than any other advertisement will do. What do I mean? A good customer who is happy with your product, who is happy with your service, <laughs> will spread the news. Word of mouth will convince people more than any other advertisement you will do. Businesses spend billions of dollars to advertise. But the best form of advertisement, let me tell you something, is when a referral is taking place. You may make up your mind that you want to shop in a particular store because you saw the advert on, the, on TV or social media and what a few. They may bombard your social media with their advert. And you may make up your mind that I want to, I want to, I want to shop there. Guess what happened? One fellow can just say in that company, I can tell you, don't believe them. Don't believe them. Except if you have some money to waste. After you had that statement, we used to want to go ahead. No! No! It takes the grace of God for Pastor Omi to shop online, especially when it comes to clothing. Because she has spent a lot of money, the way you see it online, powerful. But by the time they deliver it to you, you say, what trash is this? 
are you follow? How many of you understand what I'm talking about? Do you think you can convince Pastor with me to go and shop online on clothing again? No. She won't do it because she has what we call unpalatable experience. Somebody say one mouth, one referral can do many. I tell you something. If you are wearing something now, let's say Heidi is wearing something good now, and and everybody in the car say, Heidi, you look good today. Yes, I look good. Okay, who did this particular something for you now? Oh, before you know what happened, they will buy. Funke will buy. You know, for me we buy. All up before you know. Amen. Maybe I will buy. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, sis. Wow. Service was one. Amazing. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Precious Adamola. Your favorite. Yes. No. It's actually your fave. Fumi Tunji, right here. Yes, she is. Anyways, y'all. Since y'all are here, I have to let y'all know. Please make sure to follow our main page, DIC Houston, and our personal pastor at PST Toy Adamola. What are the social media handles? You can find them on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Let's Make show. sure you get that. And share. Tell the people to share. Don't be yeah. stingy. Don't be stingy. Oh. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Share the good news. Anyways, y'all, let's not hold you any longer. Yes. And if you want to be a part of what God is doing right here at DIC, please make sure to check out www.dominionlifestyle.org to be a part of the amazing things happening here. We love you. Love you so much.